Hey guys, so I thought it would be a good idea to start doing, I don't want to say it's going to be a daily pick card, but something like a day today, right? So, and just showing up with that when I'm feeling called, you know, and pulling, just doing it with some Oracle cards, no tarot or anything like that. Um, I recently purchased these beautiful oracle cards from a facilitator of mine i'll definitely link down for information below so y'all can check them out they're really beautiful amazing cards all right really um created to tap into your intuitive eye you know get that third eye moving uh envisioning things connecting with the self right which is really where I'm at with things right now. So oh, I've switched up all my cards. But let's go ahead and get to this day today and see what it is that we have for me. We are in the last quarter phase of the moon. And the moon is in Leo. So that is us really editing, reclining things, letting, letting go of things, right? Things that do not uh, pertain or connect with our sense of wholeness. Um, that can go forward with us, things that are heavy, things that um, don't serve well with moving forward, okay, so their ancestors, divine stores, what messages do you want um, for us today, what would you like for us to know on the day of November 15th, and if you're watching this at another day, that is okay. Maybe this message serves you for that day. What messages do you have for us today? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so the card that is coming out here is hell. Right. So maybe some of us are in this space of uh, being in our own personal hell. Like maybe we are in an environment that is really not serving us right or some of us may just be seeing the light in what it is that has been created what has been creating this this hell right this this really um dark place that we've been in right and allowing us to see the truth of the matter right in in facilitating growth facilitating um a sense of depth within us and who it is that we are, right? And connecting with the light because what's coming out with this is the light, okay? And with the light coming out with hell is there is some illumination taking place. Like the, sh the sun is shining on the darkness. Um, we are uh, seeing things for what it is they truly are, right? This can also be speaking about though someone Someone who is around us, right, who may be facilitating this hell energy um, that has like this light, like a false light, right? So false light uh, comes from Luciferianism, right? So this is um, an understanding of something in uh, trying, putting it in a spectrum of making it true when some part may be and the rest may not be, right? Or trying to manipulate things to go their way when in reality, um, it's creating hell and, and, and destruction for you in some sense, right? So uh, this can also be speaking about just being the light, right? Like I said before, the clarity in which has been creating um, less than desirable circumstances, whatever it is that we have not been wanting in our world, in our life, right? And really tapping into what else, whatever it is that we're actually needing to connect to, right? And coming out of that, that's what it feels more like, right? Coming up out of the darkness. What else is here? I'm gonna pull one more card. What else is here? Yeah, so it's a pinky, it's a pinky brain. So with this pinky brain energy, this is very subconscious, right? So perhaps we are the ones who have been creating this 
this darkness within us, right? These shadows, fighting with our shadows, battling with our shadows, right? But with that, the light is, 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 is clearing out this darkness, clearing out this shadow. Maybe we've been doing a lot of shadow work, right? That's allowing us to tap in, to be able to connect to that subconscious energy um, in a way that is allowing us to really find growth, find fulfillment, find a sense of lightness. You know, this can also be uh, speaking about also getting some something in reference to uh, some sense of immaturity. Maybe there's something that you were really tired of that you already are aware of. You're aware that you're tired of it, but you keep going in it. Like maybe you feel like you're trapped in it, but the only thing that you're trapped in is your mind, right? The small things that um, you continue to replay over and over that you continue to allow to be a cycle, right? But with this, meditation can support us and really moving beyond these things. And I'm not talking about like just little meditation. I mean, like you really sitting and feeling the feelings and getting and connecting with your breathing and letting things transform through you and out of you, moving beyond, you know, and really allowing yourself to recreate, rejuvenate, reanimate how it is that you are viewing things and allow that to play out in your physical world. Okay, guys, so I hope that this serves you. I hope that that was helpful. All right, if you like this, let me know. You know, like the video. That way, I'm doing this for you guys, you know. So if uh, I have the feedback and I have the response, then I can provide more. I will provide more, right? Because it's no point in doing anything that nobody's really wanting or needing. So yeah, let me know and I'll